Comic book haul. 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 Okay. Let's do. Check this out. Check this out. Now there's two comic books. Uh, I bought. I bought both the, two comic book hauls. I bought both of these on eBay. One of them was from a local seller. It's this one in the bag. I just pick it. I go to the store, pick it up. Right? Okay, Alfie. Well, everyone, I have to go do some uh, some homework and do laundry for the week ahead. As I said in Gilded, it has been a great chatting, great chatting with you all over the years. Thank you for being so kind to me and giving me great uh, convos. I'll be back at some point. Love you all. Salute, Alfie. Happy laundry day. And thank you for sticking around for a few years, man. We'll be here, man. Always welcome to come by. Okay. Salute, salute. And I hope you enjoy your Bill Hicks break. I uh, know, Elder God, this isn't the $400 haul. The $400 haul is coming. Okay. This haul here, let me get my, get my pages ready. Let me get my pages ready. Check this out. Okay. This haul, the total for this haul was... I'm scrolling up, I'm scrolling up. The total for this haul was... Oh, what? I already paid. Uh, 100 and... It came out to about 100... There it is. Doo -doo -doo, $145 Canadian. Okay. So the total for this haul was $145 Canadian. Okay, let me make sure... I do this properly Doop. okay check this out I'm gonna show you these two first these two I went and picked it up and the the seller uh, was like I can't believe you picked these up for a dollar each all right these were a dollar each okay let me confirm that uh, but up beep yeah one was a dollar 25 issue number two number one was a dollar 25 Canadian by the way and issue number two was a dollar he told me he's seen these things go for a hundred a pop okay elder God it's only after you lost everything that you free you're free to do anything exactly all right check this out this is from 1994 okay I believe 1994 I gotta bring this up again Damn. Uh, I should have written all this stuff down oops Hey, come on. Uh, da, 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 da. When did these come out? I think uh, mid 1990s, early to mid 1990s. This is Fallen Empire, Magic the Gathering, right? Number one, number one, and number two. Okay. So, Magic the Gathering, Fallen Empire, number one and number two. The reason that these are expensive is. They got booster packs in the back and these are sealed by the way they're bags sealed i put them in mylar bags okay so they got booster packs magic the gathering fallen empire booster packs from like 1994 i think okay the best year of my life oh my god says <laughs> alfida how are you doing salutations right so number one number two was a dollar this one was a dollar this one was a dollar 25 Canadian all prices Canadian okay uh, great deal a great deal great deal sealed booster packs yeah so take a look if these are I put them in mylar bags I could crack this open right? sealed booster packs and the comic is sealed in like the you know their poly bag thing right and these are sealed right i'm not gonna open it i'm not gonna open it right yeah this is mylar bag lonely piggy <laughs> i had to put these in mylar i had to put these in mylar i didn't put them in i didn't put a backing board there because i didn't want the backing board to put pressure on the card the booster packs right so fantastic great deal great deal okay check out these ones okay I'll show you these ones check out these ones 
I still have my uh, Fallen Empire comics from when they came out. Nice, nice, nice. These guys, let me tell you how much these babies were. Um, this is Strange Tales number 113. Okay. Paid 1850 for this. And this is Strange Tales number 119. And paid 1150 Canadian again prices okay and these are Jack Kirby uh, art Dick Ayers art and Stanley uh, <laughs> Stanley uh, 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 what do you call it? script okay so the strange tales number 119 this was fair value okay nice pickup nice pickup nice pickup plotino salutations welcome to our live stream this one was graded it's a lower grade it's graded a good this is graded a good 1150 okay this one graded at good very good for 1850 okay um jack kirby Steve Ditko, okay. Oh, sorry, this one Jack Kirby, Steve Ditko, and I believe the cares is in there as well. Okay, this one it says it's got a uh Spider Man cameo event Avengers number four house ad, so I guess maybe that kicks up the price. But the both of these were fair value, they weren't amazing, they were good deals, but they weren't amazing deals, right? They weren't like a dollar need for those guys. <laughs> Oh my god, I just turned 75 due to desire need for those comics. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Oh, okay, this one I gotta... Hold on. We gotta do Twitch censorship. <laughs> painter's tape here. <laughs> I got painter's tape here. Baby Knight, are you a fan of Alan Ford? I'm not m much into comics, but I did read that... Uh, one back in the day alan ford you mean alan moore i don't know alan ford i don't know alan ford i don't know alan ford who's Al it's alan ford that doesn't ring a bell <laughs> you'll see okay This is <laughs> this is Igrat number two, Verotic Comics, nineteen ninety six, uh, Glenn Danzing from the Misfits, number one, graded at near mint minus. <laughs> awesome. Oh, so this was a good deal and I paid how much did I pay for this I can I don't know how much I paid for this let me see how much I paid for this I paid 550 Canadian for it good price good price good price okay Damn. very nice very nice I like this I like this okay nice I like it I like it he had a few of different uh, numbers from the series I was only able to get my hands on this one what are those uh, stickers? These stickers, if you peel them back, there's a reveal. <laughs> but we can't do it here. We can only do it on Rumble, but we're live streaming on both. So sorry, gang. <laughs> That's just so every day. <laughs> They're bra. <broad. laughs> okay. So this was a good price. Near mint minus. Not bad. Not bad. Happy with this this one you guys know i love bisley right this is verotic number three verotic illustrated beautiful beautiful and paid 550 canadian for this as well okay 550 canadian for this as well and again uh what's his name uh, uh dan uh danzing bisley manara corbin pearson it's a whole bunch of different people right awesome awesome 
Love the metal. Love the metal. Right. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Now, this one was a great deal. Okay. This is Golden Age comic, romance comic. Wedding Bells, number 10. No, number 13. Sorry. Number 13. Graded at fine. Uh, the other one was graded at near mint minus two. Graded fine, and I paid ten dollars Canadian for it. Great price. Not sorry, nine dollars Canadian for it. Great price. Great price. Quality comics from 1956 in fine. Oh, actually, this this would actually be early early Silver Age because it's got the comic code on there. So early Silver Age. Sorry, not Golden Age right i watched the year slip by summer serenade i wanted her man i want yeah 1956 right what does that say once and for all will you marry me either you love me or you don't i don't i i do love you but i er, i'm all mixed up she says i'm all mixed up when they're all mixed up you walk away maybe right so this was a great deal nine dollars in and the guy's a pretty good grader right he teaches at a university so graded fine 67 years old nice this one this one was expensive this one was by a long shot the most expensive one this is atlas comics precursor to marvel graded at fine minus which is marvel comics love romances number 35 john romita okay uh let's see this uh john tar tar tartangion john romita stanley j scott pike Okay. Eighty four fifty Canadian. Okay. Romita, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't mess with this. Can't mess with this. And this is go straight up golden age, right? Straight up golden age. Nineteen fifty four. Right? Love romances. And this was not a bad deal. It wasn't as great of a deal as I hoped, but a pretty good deal. <laughs> Cheryl <laughs> that outfit <laughs> nice I got mylar on this so it's like glaring hold on let me take off the mylar Let's see if we can get a better look on it without the glare I, I, I got it in a plastic bag as well board and I put it in mylar to protect it from UV right. nice cover mid high grade right. nice buy Plutonic films are archived our court there is this Alan Ford n127 publication date Alan Ford collection language I don't know I don't know Alan Ford at all Pearls, gloves, and all. <laughs> Polka dot outfit. Nice. So this was good. This was good. I like this. We got another haul that it was shipped to me. Okay, so this was one haul. Local, I went and picked it up, no shipping. It was just tax on it right and we got an ebay haul okay Oop. ebay ebay i can't show you this part because the addresses and stuff is on it so let's crack this open where's my exact one life these guys were expensive okay 
These guys were expensive. No gloves. Yeah, I didn't have any gloves. Uh, sure. You should have had gloves. <laughs> Nice, nice wrapping, All right? It's got the bubble stuff. Ooh. Make sure we don't drop any of these kitty cats might eat it up. These foamy things, nice, nicely packaged. I'm gonna crack this open. So there's only two comic books here. Okay. Serious packaging job. And more. Protect them. Hmm. Pale. Pale green painter's tape. I've never seen this color before. The ones we get here are darker green. Nice. These ones I was very happy about. Fair value. Did you guys see the address? No. You ordered kitty... Uh, Play stuff. Uh, no kitty play stuff. <laughs> the, the foamy stuff. <laughs> Check this out. Let me show you this. Let me show you this. Nice. 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 Oh, he's got the stuff here. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. Days. 1948. 1948 yeah 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 it's italian it's huge here in the balkans thought it was famous world no i don't know it at all baby night uh baby nights alan ford check this out jumbo comics number 109 good girl right sheena matt baker artwork in this right this one and now these are u.s prices cost $61 US okay $61 US the shipping was only $8 for the whole thing right jumbo comics 109 from 1948 Matt Baker fiction house fantastic this is and by the way this is low grade this is good good minus the cover is detached the inside page the, I think the center foil is detached, but the cover is beautiful, right? Like, there's no chunks missing from the cover. So just for that, I would give it more than a good minus. Good, right? 28 viewing on Rumble currently. Sick. Awesome. Salute to the Rumble community. Gang, welcome to our live stream. We just started a live stream on Rumble recently. And gang on Twitch. So this, I would say, is a good, it, it's, it's fair value, I would say. But as far as I'm concerned, Jap123, thank you very much for the follow. Salute, salute. I guess I got to drink more, more whiskey. Uh, Rafast, I don't even, I don't want to even start down the golden age rabbit hole. Love the comics, indeed. Uh, Pluton, oh, I gotta get my rumble chat. Oh, what's going on? Where's my rumble chat? Doop, there's my rumble chat. Awesome. Rumble chat's there. Nice. I guess it is known to European comic connoisseurs. Yeah. All right, beautiful. I, I couldn't figure out, find out who did the cover. But there's Matt Baker in this. Let me read you guys who the artists are, are on here. Okay. Uh, -up, beep, 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 beep. Uh, this one, we got Rob Webb. Okay. Jack Kamen. 
poof, 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 giant among giants. Matt Baker, wow, wow, wow. And Matt Baker's huge. Like Jack Kim is gigantic, right? And Matt Baker is huge because he was, as far as I know, really the first um, black comic book artist. Uh, but he's not famous because he was well, not the first, but one of the first from that period, 1948, keep in mind, right? But he did, ladies, the artwork he did was phenomenal beautiful artwork beautiful artwork I'm very happy to have this very i've been slowly trying to get some matt baker stuff going right golden age good girl jungle comics and stuff the next one this one was i thought i think this one was a good deal okay i think this one was a good deal <laughs> snap crackle pop right jumbo comics 91 graded at very good minus ended up paying 48 us for this so this haul with the two comic books cost 127 dollars us right okay 127 dollars us whatever that comes out to canadian like 100 160 and yeah around 160 a little bit more Canadian, actually a little bit more 100, 170 Canadian, right? 100, 127 dollars US graded very good minus Matt Baker, Matt Baker artwork. Okay, and who else is on here? I couldn't figure out who did the cover, I couldn't figure out who did the cover. Okay, but let me tell you doop. again, this is Rob Robert Webb. Jack came in again. Uh, Morgan Thomas. Okay. Matt Baker and Jack came in. Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. Bill Gibson possibly doing the script. Right. And very good minus. That's a good grade for that period. 1946. 1946. Fantastic. Very happy about this buy. $58, I think, is a good deal. Okay. This is going to be sought after forever, really. Sheena, Jungle Queen, Spore, Sable, Thorn, Tiger. Very nice, very nice. Very nice, very nice. Beautiful cover, right? Beautiful cover. Very happy about this. And before I leave feedback for the seller, and the seller is legit, uh, I'm gonna crack this open and flip through the pages, make sure it's complete because they're supposed to be complete, right? <laughs> nice. And I wanna check out the Matt Baker artwork, right? He died early, unfortunately. So, two 1940s comics golden age beautiful beautiful jumbo comics very nice i have maybe three four handful of these right low grade low grade nothing high grade the high grade extremely expensive extremely expensive so that's a great comic book haul great comic book haul these two with the magic boosters from 1994 snap crackle pop for dollar a pop Whoa. very good very good very nice i will say crack it open but no glue yeah yeah I, I can i can't crack it open like this it'll fall over maybe we do a comic book reading of it okay maybe maybe we do a comic book reading of it what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put these get rid of the foamies here and put the comics in here so they're safe okay i gotta get rid of the foamies hot legs that's what exercise does like if you want to know how far society has fallen right take a look at pictures from the civil rights period from the 1960s take a look at the people protesting there and how in shape they were right and take a look at now right or take a look at uh, 
Yeah, dollar. See that? I bought the Magic the Gathering stuff with the booster pack. Sealed comic books. Number one, right? From 1994, at the beginning stages of Magic the Gathering, right? One was a dollar, the other one was a dollar twenty-five, Canadian even. Huh? Great deal. The the comic book store owner was like, I can't believe you got these for a dollar. <laughs> like, I'll show them again. These were the best deals. A dollar each. Right? Fallen Empire with booster packs. Very nice. Very nice. You know what's strange? See that. Uh, you look back at super old pictures. Nobody has glasses on. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't notice that. I noticed uh, everybody was in better shape. Everybody was in way better shape. Right? Way better shape. So great haul, gang. Salute to great comic book hauls. Right? Uh, Rafast. Rafas Fallen Empire was the biggest letdown of card set. Was it? Was it? I don't know. I don't know. I wish I was buying Magic the Gathering back then. Man, that would be sweet. We gotta light the cigar again. We gotta light the cigar again. That see that that's a steal and a half. Yeah, that's a steal and a half. <laughs> 